Which I would say we're making diamonds out of wood. At this nondescript corporate office in Western Maryland, poplar wood goes in and super wood comes out. It's very beautiful. It's gorgeous, actually. And it, it, it looks very shiny and it's very smooth when you touch it. And when you smell, it smells really good, actually, like chocolate. This product is not only beautiful, but it's incredibly durable. It's still 100% wood. That's up to 10 times stronger than steel at a sixth of its weight. I was able to easily pick up a beam, but its steel counterpart, not so much. I don't even know if I can... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that is... Quite a bit different. And while testing out the difference in the strength of the wood, before and after processing. Whoa. The cinder block broke before the what super the wood did. And there's a little mark on it, but it's actually, it's hardly dented if you feel it. It was actually invented by mistake by Professor Lian Bing Hu while doing research at the University of Maryland. So it was not originally planned, but doing the research in the very often, uh, you get a surprise result. And that surprise has turned into an entire business, Inventwood in Frederick. They use heat and pressure in part to achieve the final product, but the exact process remains a secret with more than 140 protected patents. Whether it's fire resistance, whether it is extraordinary strength, whether it is extraordinary durability, our scientists can modify the wood at a molecular level while densifying it and create super wood. President Jonathan Strimling joined the company six months ago. It's like having an opportunity to participate in the Olympics. And though it became available for commercial use only a few months ago, he says they're working to scale up as fast as they can. The demand we're seeing here is is off the hook. It's it's far beyond anything I've seen in my life. It's from architects and beyond, aerospace industries and even for musical instruments. It's seen as a way to replace steel as a lower carbon option or a sustainable alternative to critical materials like aluminum. They now make siding, decks, doors and more. It used to be that you had to you had to choose between the beauty of wood or the durability of synthetic materials. And what we're doing is we're eliminating that compromise. This is just the beginning of many possibilities. Very exciting and also very anxious to see uh, what actually people can use it uh, for. The goal is to eventually build entire buildings, even skyscrapers out of this material, but that goal is a few years away. In Frederick, Blair Sable, WMAR 2 News.